Hi, I'm Carmen Moore, and I'm in the studio today with the noted percussionist Stick Sevens. Throughout a long career in rock and roll, Stix has been one of the best in the business. He has recorded with everyone from Sam Cooke and the Platters in the 50s to Aretha Franklin, James Brown, Marvin Gaye in our own day. We are going to talk to him today about modern percussion playing. Stix is sitting here in the midst of a group of instruments that actually combines into one instrument, and that instrument is called the drum set. The drum set is basic to rock and jazz music. It consists of several cymbals, a certain number of drums played with the sticks and the brushes, and the bass drum, which is played using a foot pedal. The three cymbals that we are demonstrating today are the ride cymbal, and the crash cymbal, and the hi-hat. Of the drums, we have two tom-toms. There's the high-pitched tom-tom, and the low-pitched tom-tom. And then the basic piece of equipment, which is the snare drum, and supporting it all on the bottom, is the bass drum. And now we'll give him a chance to show off a little and combine all these into a pattern. Patterns is actually the name of the game. What drum pattern or beat style the drummer selects is often your tip off as to what kind of music you're hearing. We're going to hear some drum patterns as they have been used in rock history now. First, we'll hear the slow triplets that we identify with the early 50s. And next, also from the 50s, we hear the shuffle beat, which is used the uh, faster music. And then in the early 60s, along came a group called the Beatles, who were setting patterns in music in general. Their drummer, Ringo Starr, used this beat. From there, as the 60s progressed, drumming simply grew more and more complicated. Notice how in this next pattern, the bass drum comes into the center of the pattern. And finally, in our own day, with independently coordinated patterns, we hear music played on the drums. That is an equal partner to the melody. has arrived. And now, let's put some of these ideas into action. To the old spiritual ring shout called See Can't You Jump for Joy, Styx will drum in three different styles. The first of these styles will be with the brushes in the style that they call the legit style. He will basically accompany. And then we will hear him play in the early 50s rock style, using the sticks and leaning heavily into the backbeat. And third, you will hear in the modern rock style, all of the drums come into play and much more complicated rhythm. Notice that 
this style uses basically the brushes and the bass drum. Laid back and out of the way. Next, picking up the sticks, we'll hear that back beat that we identified with the early 50s. Notice how the cymbals, drums, bass drum all work together in a kind of machine-like fashion. The rhythm is up front. That's as important as the melody. And now it's star time. You're the drummers. Here's your chance to play along.